Welcome to Automation Training Hub. Today's video, we are going to see from which website we can download PLC softwares and how to install the software. So the website name is plc247.com. In that, go to Downloads, Home Round Software. In that, you can see it's showing list of Home Round Software. We are going to choose uh, CX1 version 4.51 selected in that you can check in this software which operating system it will support you can confirm the spec with your laptop whether it supports or not then in the bottom we have cx1 version 4.51 downloading link we have suppose uh, if you are using Windows 11, it's not showing now. You can go for the higher version. You can see in here CX1 4.6. It will support for Windows 11 also. Okay. So now we'll try to download it. In the bottom, they have given the link. Select it. So in the top, you can see we have downloading. Click that one. So again, it will ask like this. So simply you give download anyway. So it will start downloading. But in my system, already I have downloaded that one. You can see in here. So once the file is downloaded, right click that one, give extract to plc247.com so that a folder will be created so when you select it it will ask a password in that website itself they given a password so we have to give the same website name so once you give that website name it will start to extract the file So if you give OK now, it will start extracting. So already I have extracted that file. So it will be like this. Inside you will have, a, again one extraction will be the plus a key install. So in this, uh, they are given the key for the software. So again, what you do is uh, right click, extract. So this folder will come. In this folder, You will have a product setup. So right click run as administrator. Next. So the license agreement just gave uh, I accept. Next. So it's showing you the system username. And just for the the namesake give uh, some random company name but remember this one then it's asking the license so we have the key file now so if you check that one now they given the key so this is the license file After typing, give next. So you can choose uh, which region you from. Next. So it will ask complete package or custom. So if you give complete package now, so already you have checked in that. So in CX1, what are the software it is going to install now cx programmer server process tool motion position simulator integrated designer drive protocol but in this uh, no need of all these software we need only cx programmer plus uh, simulator so what we can do is you can give custom because if you give complete now 
too much time it will take for installation. As well as your system gets slow. So I go to custom. Next. You can choose. So I'm going to keep it CX programmer. CX simulator, CX server, and common tools. So now you can give next, 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 install. It will take some time to in complete the installation. So while it's installing, in between it will ask uh, install communication modem like that. So we have to give install for that. Once we give install, then only the software will work properly. So first uh, Visual Basic supporting will be installed. Then it will start to install uh, CX1. So that means the programming software will start. So you can see in here, Home Run Corporation modem. So you just give install. So then only the in testing time it works properly. Otherwise in between itself it will cancel. Suppose uh, in your laptop, okay, in here the port it's asking, we have to give install. Suppose in your laptop if you install antivirus now, when you extract this file so when you extract this file in the folder sometimes the key install will be deleted so before in uh, downloading this file what you do is just off the antivirus then start to download and extract the software So right now it's asking home on universal serial bus. That means USB controllers. So just give install. 
So right now the software we are installing now it will support so many Omron CPU models. So each CPU will have different communication protocols. Some will have USB, some will have Ethernet. So it's asking all those things installation. So whatever it's asked, just read that one and give install.
once installation is completed, it will ask to restart the system. You can give the restart and uh, you can check in the start menu. And home run folder will be created. In that you can see CX1. Inside that CX programmer, you will have the CX programmer. So if you say right click this icon, you can move to desktop, send to desktop so that you can uh, use the software. So in the next class, we'll see how to create a project in homebound software and how to test it. Thank you.